Hello, and welcome to my plant channel. This very first plant I'm going to be documenting is the Trichopelia suavis. And this has got to be one of my favorite orchids ever. It's, first of all, the leaves are super cool. Secondly, check out these really cool suitables. They're kind of flattened, which is really nice. But then, on top of all of this, the blooms. Wow. And this fragrance is heavenly. It's super sweet and musky. It's like, it's kind of like a rose scent, but it's combined with something else that I can't quite describe. The blooms like these huge trumpets covered in confetti when you look closely into the flower see that awesome orangish yellow wow this fragrance is so powerful I have this growing in my bedroom and when I wake up in the morning I feel like a king <laughs> I wake up to the scent of these beautiful beautiful flowers What's really crazy about this, not only do these flowers fill the room, and if you put your nose in them, it it's so it's so strong, the fragrance, it almost hurts like I think I'll get a headache. It's crazy. Um but as far as filling the room, it's not it's not overbearing. It's really, really fresh and beautiful. Um anyhow, this is fragrant all the time. So day and night. Um but there's something else. Oh, what's crazy is that this plant is not, this has not been a hard plant to grow for me. Um, it's growing in sphagnum moss. I'm sure I'm overwatering it, but it's doing fine, um, as you can see. And on top of all of that, it's got another spike, another spike. This right here is one spike. It's just so beautiful. So, some orchids go in my forever list. I want to grow them forever. And this is definitely one of them. I don't think I could ever tire of this beautiful, beautiful plant. As far as growing conditions, it is in a northeast window a little bit more east than north it does get some uh hot sun i mean for texas texas gets hot sun at like 10 a.m so <laughs> um it does get a little bit of that and it's probably shown a little stress from that situation yeah so it's probably too bright for it um but I've been trying to give it a little more shade, and I think it likes that better. For watering, I try to keep it moist. Sometimes I overdo it, but it hasn't... But maybe I haven't, I don't know, because it hasn't shown any rotting signs or stress from that, as far as I can tell, so... And... What else? Yeah, it's just a very easy plant. I'm amazed that something so luscious and exotic looking and unusual and you don't hear about this orchid very often could be just so breathtaking and so fragrant. Um, I bet it could grow and fail in Phalaenopsis light without any, without any problems. So highly, highly, highly recommend this. I would love Oh, I don't know, a hundred more of these. <laughs> but yeah, so that is my very first plant review video of Trichopelia suavis. Thanks for watching.